Hi, I'm John Valentino, president of John and Bob's Corporation. I'm here with Chip uh, at a garden remodel. I'm a landscape contractor and a landscape architect. And in today's uh, video, we're going to um, dispel all the uh, misunderstandings about applying our product, which is extremely simple. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Chip and I plan to be doing a lot more uh, videos for you. If you like them, please click on like and click on subscribe and click on the bell so that you'll be notified every Sunday when we uh, post our new videos. So our next uh, product is Maximize, which uh, is really, I think, our most handsome product. It's beautiful looking and it's beautiful smelling. If you've ever read about what a really high quality compost should smell like, it smells exactly like um, high quality uh, compost. And Maximize has a really good quality organic compost in it. Uh, that compost is what um, infuses the Maximize with the life that it has. Uh, so it has beneficial bacteria, beneficial fungi, beneficial protozoa. And then the other thing is we add in the most famous fungi um, uh, in gardening called mycorrhiza. Mycorrhiza attaches itself to roots. So this has mycorrhiza added and then all the others from the high quality compost. Mixed with that kind of a, is a ground up basalt which uh, contributes almost every mineral in the periodic table. And um, those are the main ingredients. The result is a, quite a soil builder. That's really um, what it does. It doesn't have, a, it does have some macronutrients, but not a, a lot. But the whole idea is we're creating soil that can produce its own macro and micronutrients and solve its own pest and disease problems. And the whole reason for coming up with this was to add, I mean, it'll work great on its own for soil building, but what we really envisioned is adding it with the Optimize and the Nourish Biosol to make uh, substantial changes in soil, any kind of soil, hard soil, sandy soil, quickly. And, and that's the whole um, reason for coming up with these products with life. So, uh, Penetrate has life in it, and our Maximize has life in it. I'm going to apply it here to a real interesting plant that uh, you might not think is interesting because it's part of a genus that is maybe a little overused, but there's a recent introduction that just seems to me, in our, we've been using it for a couple of years now, tremendously beautiful and useful. And it's a form of uh, Nandina, a dwarf form of Nandina, and probably most gardeners know about Nandina, and many aren't that excited about it because it tends to be overused. But blush pink Nandina is not overused. It's tremendously colorful most of the year. Since we're in the summer, we just get a little hint of color right now, but through the fall and um, uh, the spring and the winter, we'll get great colors on it. And the thing I like about it for this garden, since we have all these existing trees and we don't know whether it's going to get sun or shade in some spots, it'll do well in either sun or shade. It's not, and it stays small, very well behaved plant with tremendous year round color. That's hard to find, easy to grow, actually pretty water efficient even, doesn't use a lot of water. So really, uh, really a good plant. And uh, the Maximize, you know, you could put uh, just, um, oh, say, a couple cups uh, around each one, and uh, it could even use, in a, in a container or something, it could even be a combination soil amendment and top dressing, because as I mentioned, it really has a beautiful look to it. The other interesting thing where we planted this is you'll see we've got a drip tubing running throughout it, so we're watering these with drip, and this tubing has an emitter in it every 12 inches, which conceivably could water it, but in addition to that, we put an emitter at each plant with a little spaghetti tubing going right 
to the uh, Nandina. So we not only are, have the emitters in the tubing every 12 inches, but we've got an emitter right to the root ball. A lot of times with drip, um, we've seen problems getting established because the drip is a little way from the root ball of the plant. And by combining these methods, we put water right at the root ball. And if you're planting in the summer, you really need that. And in the general vicinity as it roots out. So the maximize you can use around the plants as we just showed you, or if you want to broadcast it over large areas, then it's the product that has the highest rate of recommended use for really good results. Uh, eight to nine pounds per thousand square feet. Um, so um, you can apply with the um, Whirlybird spreaders, although Maximize spreads much better if you mix it with something uh, because it's finer. So mixed with Nourish Biosol or, or something. But you want to go, you can throw it on by hand, you want to go about eight or nine pounds per thousand square feet and uh, that'll treat uh, big areas. And of course in the blend we're mixing it with Nourish Biosol and Optimize and in that case it spreads very well in a in a Whirlybird spreader. Hey there friends, thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the bell. If you enjoyed this video, have any questions, or just want to say hi, let us know in the comments below. Want to learn more about our products? Then head over to our website www.johnandbobs.com.